Good morning, brothers and sisters. Doug White down here in Alabama. Welcome to my little channel. <laughs> I want to tie up a few little loose ends here on this Hebrews 6, and then we'll go on over there to uh, uh, the rich young ruler next time we do some study. I want to see what people think about the rich young ruler. You know, tell you what I believe it, uh, the rich young ruler thinks about it. But I don't want to go to that until I tie up these loose ends over here on Hebrews 6. 6. You know, I never claim to see through a glass clearly. I claim <laughs> I see through a glass darkly because of the indwelling sin that dwells in my members, you know, cry, you know, clouding things up. But, um, you know, I'll give you my view on, on this thing about the uh, uh, Hebrews 6. Four, and, and I said the other day that I believe that uh, and most of you sovereign grace people believe that the, these are, are God's people. You know, I looked, I did a little check. Most of the Armenians think that it, they're not, you know, they're not God's people. But I, uh, I'm i just saying, telling you how I see through this glass darkly <laughs> in my fallible man ways, I see this as uh, uh, this Hebrews is partakers of the Holy Ghost. When, you know, when you partake of something, you share, and this is something that the, this is under, not to me. Okay, let's just say to me, this is talking about uh, uh, God's people who are regenerate. And we know that if it, if they are regenerate, if they're born again people, that that's eternal, that's forever. It's a forever settled that God loved these people. And when you love somebody, you take care of them from the first to the last. If you love somebody, you're going to take care of them. Now, I love my kids. Ain't nothing they can do wrong. They're not going to keep me from loving them. So I believe this is a family matter here about in Hebrews. Yet, uh, they fall away. Some of these people, it's a historical fact. It's a historical fact that some of these people, and, I, and I'm, I'm looking at this from a first century point of view. And also, I'm looking at it from a uh, 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 that there was that the great tribulation was happening then. The great tribulation was coming down on, on God's people over here and there in the uh, Middle East. Uh, and it says here uh, over in uh, Th Second Thessalonians, talking about the man of sin being revealed, and he said that. Uh, there would, uh, would be a great falling away in Hebrew, I mean, in uh, Thessalonians. So this uh, this event that was happening caused a lot of God's people, in this four sinners' view, and uh, we know it's a historical fact. I know we're not, not supposed to go by the historical books, you know, but if we can believe any of them, we know it happened. You know, what's that fellow's name? Uh, of course, I don't have to go to Josephus or anybody else, but because we, you know, it's recordings of this happening in Josephus, and uh, also, uh, but anyway, I don't want to get off into that. But we don't have to go there. We can just go over here to Hebrews, where where uh, the writer of Hebrews uh, says uh, there'll be a great falling away, the man of sin revealed. And don't you remember I was with you? I told you the temple was still standing in the first century. And uh, there was a great falling away. And why was this falling away? Everybody thinks, see, we look at things like we here in America, but right now we still have some kind of uh, resemblance of uh, liberty still here in America. But uh, might not have later on. But we have not resisted the blood in America. See, brother says, there's a great falling away. See, what, through fear of torture to your family and uh your friends and friends, family, and yourself, torture. Many of these people fell away, went back in the temple that was still standing, in my view, and uh, participated in animal, animal sacrifices. Maybe their heart wasn't in it because they knew they were regenerate people, but they were just going along with the flow. Just like a lot of people who know right now about what's going on in America, in the news, and in the, in the phony, <laughs> everything's phony. Nothing's real. But they go along with the flow for fear of 
persecution for the family and, and themselves. They lose in the battle. They lose in the battle. They, the, in the fight of faith, they fail. But for election's sake, beloved, I believe they are loved of the Father. That's what this poor sinner believes. And, but it's going on now. I know lots of people that know the truth that are around me right now. What's going on? But then you won't ever get it out of them. See? Then this was going on in the first century, especially then because there was great tribulation that happened then. See, that's why it's important to know that the great tribulation is in our past. That happened then. And this was, this was also talking to the Thessalonians, I mean, and the Hebrews. The Hebrews knew about it too. And they were, uh, some of them were uh, getting uh, uh, fearful and they, and they fell away from the faith. And we know this is a fact and we know, but we know that these are God's people and uh, it's impossible for them to lose it. Say. It's impossible. Say. There's no uh, possibility of any of them uh, perishing because God loved them. Not because they uh, kept the faith or what everybody calls them, but persevered in the faith. No, I don't believe that. But anyway, I just want to tie up those loose ends. If anybody's a partaker of his uh, divine nature, these people, I look for uh, uh, for resemblances of divine nature in people. They're partakers of God's mind. These people are partakers of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> so that's what I believe. We just want to tie up those loose ends. And we'll go on to this other thing about... Uh, uh, of the rich young ruler. And uh, I see, you know, I take the different view on that than a lot of people. But, you know, that's the reason people tune in just to see what I think, you know, what I believe to be true. I believe it's, uh, uh, it's, you know, I like to put it out there. And I believe it brings a lot of peace to people who have failed God and not, uh, and have lost in the battle sometimes. Sometimes they lose in the battle. They have little faith sometimes. Oh, you have little faith. Uh, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. So. But, uh, so, uh, anyway, we'll go on to uh, this thing about uh, Rich Young Ruler, and the next time we'll go go to this, uh, we'll go back to uh, Romans 1, and starting about 18, about who is uh, without excuse. And I want other people to teach on that. I want somebody, you know, to hear different views on the internet about the rich young ruler. And, uh, of course, I believe the rich young ruler is in heaven. So that's another video. But I just want to tie up these loose ends on this. Uh, and I am aware of the threatening language below here. And I have my views on the threatening language. But, I don't, I, but they're my views, you know. And... Uh, I believe God has shown them <laughs> to me, but you know, through a glass darkly. But the threatening language below here doesn't mean, in my view, eternal hell. <laughs> it doesn't mean that. In fact, it doesn't say that explicitly. So, but anyway, I know what it's talking about it because I've experienced it in my life. But uh, uh, I'm aware of the threatening language. I'm aware of the uh, people that uh, see it the other way. You know, uh, that see it the other way. I don't know. They might, you know, many of them are my brethren that see this the other way. They see it. Some of them see this as a, uh, what is the word? They see it as a, uh, a hypothetical. You know, some some people see it as a hypothetical, but uh, question, you know. But uh, I believe these are God's people. I believe that uh, they were they were speaking to something. He was speaking in this letter to something that was actually happening. And they're getting cold feet. Things was fixing to happen in the world. In their in their world, was fixing to be their their world was fixing to be great tribulation, such as never had before and never will have. That's why it's important to know that the great tribulation is in our past. Look over at Thessalonians. It actually happened. Look over there into uh. Well, you don't look at Joe so Josephus because that's not a uh uh. That's not scripture, but, you know, we know what happened in our history. If we can believe anything in our history books, we know that there was a great falling away. And we know it is true because we see it over here in Thessalonians. And the man of sin was revealed, and that's already gone. That's already happened, too. And he, he was in the temple showing himself that he was God. 
in the first century in the temple that was still standing like Jesus said. But anyway, I'll wrap this one up and I'll, I'll start looking around at this. Uh, I, I want to go over to the great, the rich young ruler because that ties in with a lot of this uh, law and grace. You know, and I want to get in, get into that and see uh, exactly what that one means. Because there's a big, of course, I got all kind of videos on it, but I can't get them to bring them to the front. Because I don't know how, and they won't let you do it. It usually stays back in the back. You know, I wrote, I talked about it. Some because of, uh, James White came on. The <laughs> James White, uh, you know, the James White that um, that uh, teaches on the internet. He taught on it. And he had him in. And, well, let's just put it. We didn't agree. But uh, so I, I did me a little thing on. But I don't know how. To, you know, I think I'm gonna refresh it and talk about it a little bit more. And I like to see some people's view of what they want to think. But I'm just telling you, brothers and sisters, this brings great hope to people. This the, the true gospel of Jesus Christ and how much he loves his people brings great hope to people. And I, in my experience, when I share this with people privately, and they, they embrace the love of God, it changes them, you know. They have wonderful peace when they realize there's nothing they can do wrong because they know they can't control. Uh, when they try to uh, quit sinning, they end up sinning more. And when they just say, like, Lord, I'm a sinner, you know, help me. I can't stop sinning. They, they, uh, they, uh, they end up uh, having great peace and doing better. But anyway, that's what I believe the gospel is. God has people that he loves. And nothing can get in in way of that love. Nothing at all. <laughs> but anyway, I wind this one up, and then we, I'll go to the next one. And uh, I hope I didn't leave nothing out. But if I did, I'll try to put it in the column below about uh, the these people. I believe some of them uh, got cold feet, went back into the temple because of uh, uh, because of fear of torture. See, it's one thing to say, well, I'll die for Christ. I'll die for you, Lord. I'll give my life for you. That's one thing. But it's another thing to uh, for your uh, to torture. Torture. Now, this was going on, brother. Torture for your family and, and, and everybody else. Uh, if that ever hits America, you'll just see how quick the, the, the wheels come off. See. But anyway, Peace and love from this one more down here in Alabama.